Well, hello, everybody, and welcome back. MCG here with Kimmy Sims Dine Out. Yes, this is a seafood Kimmy uh, challenge. I am so stinking excited about doing this. So I just realized that this challenge was going on in the Sims community, and I decided, you know what? It's a Sunday. I have until the 27th, which is tomorrow. Let me go ahead and do this because it got really cold outside today, and um, a majority of my day was um, cleaning, of course, but... Um, I decided this would be a great way to unwind so it's a long video I hope you guys uh, stick it out and hang out with me so um, the one thing that I found really challenging about this challenge was the fact that it's a seafood uh, restaurant and uh, unfortunately I cannot eat seafood because I am highly allergic uh, I will tell a story real quick what happened years ago um, me and my uh, actually he was uh, we were dating at the time we went on a uh, cruise it was called New York to nowhere so it was like a, a three four day cruise and um, of course there was a lot of drinking involved stuff like that we were young we were 21 you know what I mean and um, I decided one morning that I was going to go upstairs on the top deck of the boat and um, I was going to sunbathe which I loved doing back in the day so I got really hungry it was around like 12 noon and I said okay well let me go downstairs and grab something to eat well let me tell you something okay this is like really 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 funny um, so I went down to like the buffet and I was looking at the, um, the items that were available what you could get to eat and I looked at this uh, piece it looked like chicken it really truly looked like chicken um, little did I know it was seafood and it was whiten. Was it whiten or something like that? Some kind of fish. I think it was. Yes. Well, it was some kind of seafood. So anyway, I had a piece of it and I'm like, wow, this really does taste uh, kind of uh, like just like not normal. And um, so I threw it away anyway and I grabbed some fruit and I grabbed a drink and I went back upstairs and continued to sunbathe and read a book and stuff like that. And I think maybe an hour, hour and a half later, I got horribly sick. I was literally crawling to my cabin, um, and I spent the rest of my, uh, the rest of our little cruise in bed. I, I couldn't get out of bed. It was like horrible. But anyway, <laughs> my hubby loves seafood. Um, whenever we get the chance to go out to eat, he really does enjoy grabbing some of his, uh, I don't know, mussels. Uh, back when I was younger, my mom used to go to the crab shack and we would have crabs. But that was back when I was little and I don't know why, but um, once I got older, I just found out that I, my body cannot handle shellfish. It just can't. But um, I remember we used to uh, let the crabs run around our kitchen floor before we threw them in the pot to boil. How funny was that? Um, but yeah, so I had a ball doing this um, this restaurant right here. At first, I was like, okay, well, maybe sushi. Okay, make it like, uh, put some um, oriental, like, uh, you know, decorations around, stuff like that. And I'm like, wow, Chris, you really don't know how to do like a seafood restaurant. You're really that out of whack, right? You really are. But this little thing here in the middle, this little octagon, whatever kind of shape this was, I kind of had like a challenge with that because I'm like, couldn't really add anything in and then I'm like you know what maybe a tree a bonsai looking tree or something like that and then eventually down the road in this video you'll see exactly what I did but I did want to add in some um, different half walls um, that's part of what Kimmy wanted she wanted um, some I think it was four or five wall heights so that was one part um, we do have a chef station and stuff like that it's on a 40 by 30 lot which is great and here goes another little area, um, a little dining area. Now I didn't go with like the big huge tables. I kind of just stuck with the smaller ones. And I love these waterfall looking um, wall decor things. Uh, I had a ball and you'll see that I use them throughout the whole entire build. It's actually really, really, really cool. So <laughs> um, this did not work out, of course. It was way too small. So I had to kind of like use my imagination and um, go ahead and come back to that in a little bit so I ended up adding in a fireplace uh, I love restaurants with fireplaces I feel like it makes it really cozy and warm and stuff like that 
and these little branch wall like dividers they're also very cool as well um, here you will see that I'm um, making the chef station and now I'm trying to make this area over there well I go back I go back and forth a lot in here um, I did finish up like the little kitchen stuff like that and yeah um, I really wanted to give it like a I don't know how you would say it like I wanted to make that little octagon hectagon whatever the heck you call it thing like a centerpiece of this like restaurant so then here I decided to make it into a little fountain I'm like you know what we're gonna do this as a fountain and that's what I love I think I incorporated a lot of city living in here a lot of dine out and a lot of spa day so I use this glass little uh, gate here and here I tried to do a fountain but this one I kind of fell in love with because I love the pinks and I love the blues and I love the whites and the little fount like the little like sprinkler little things even though I couldn't get it to go up I figured you know what that is perfect that's a perfect centerpiece for this um, for this restaurant so here I'm just adding in some more stairs and back on into the um I mess here we go I finally got it to go up yeah I'm like what am I doing wrong here like are you not allowed to touch this like what is it and it's an elephant and I hear that elephants um, are supposed to bring like good luck so hopefully this restaurant here has a lot of good luck because uh, it's a big restaurant it really is big it's huge and I'm still finagling with this yes I don't even know if finagling is a word but uh, Kimmy did want some aquarium so I did put this aquarium in and I did test it I kind of put it in between um, the wall so it would be seen from the outside and then it, from the inside and it actually does work it's really cool I uh, wanted to put like a wine glass pin in right there so you knew it was like a little bar um, add that little accent in right there I thought that was really cool put some menus outside I was playing around with this tree I was like oh I would love to have this tree right in the middle kind of make it more like I said more of a centerpiece of this restaurant and I kind of play around with it still some more so um, yes I had a ball like I said I repeat myself a whole lot when I do these uh, speed builds but I did have a ball uh, I like these little wall decor things too um, I could have went ahead and just uh, maybe did them like all one color but I love the bamboo um, wall dividers too actually they're not even wall dividers they are plants and I made them into like a wall divider then put these little tiny lights up um, I love candles I love incense I love big candles small candles and here we go with the little um, I call them the little waterfall walls if you get what I'm saying so I added in them and I really wanted to put like a lot of decoration in um, into this restaurant because it's supposed to be a fancy restaurant right so and one of the rules is to decorate the interior and the exterior so we have aquariums water motifs I don't I don't even know if I'm saying that word right um, I have no idea what they are <laughs> I'm thinking they're like the little waterfall things I have going but here goes another wall divider right here I love these I wish I had these in real life I like how they light up at night and then I added in another little like it's like a plant with like a little waterfall in the back a really nice stand and then I added in these tiles because I really wanted to um, bring out like I said the centerpiece of this restaurant I kept playing around with it and I said you know what I'm gonna make this thing perfect just it's gonna take me time I love the gates the little um, small gates they really 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 go well with the um, with the tile so you see a lot of reds you see a lot of blues you see pinks you see a lot of greens and stuff like that so over here um, I kind of wanted to make another little area where you can be able to dine so um, of course I brought back in the wall dividers which I love brought them back in and then I was playing around with the tables for a while I'm like I didn't want them like you know perfect I wanted them staggered a little bit like a little private area and um, so I used the whites which I like I think white is kind of fancy and uh, the little fish uh, wall decors are pretty cool too it's kind of, cause it's like a seafood restaurant so you know that's pretty cool I really enjoyed that and I like that I could um, go ahead and size things up in this challenge too because when you size things up I think it kind of works well with um, 
with what you're doing. It depends on what you're doing. But I was, I was actually having a ball doing that. And so here is like the private little dining area. I love these bamboo plants. I really do. I hear that if you plant them, actually, they like multiply like tremendously. Um, very good privacy, um, privacy pieces. So I added in a little like buffet table, added in some more plants, um, added in some uh, seafood signs, stuff like that. I was kind of like having a problem. I'm like, okay, maybe I should just put it at the beginning of the restaurant. So, you know, it's kind of like a seafood place because I kept wanting to go with like a Japanese, um, like, you know, because I don't even know if Japanese and sushi are related. See, like I said, I have no idea what, like, I know what seafood is, but I'm not like, I'm not a seafood person. So here I am trying to go ahead and jazz up this little uh, fountain wall, fountain wall, fountain. Yes, crass, because guess what? You got a ways to go. If I'm going to talk for this, this is almost an hour long. So <laughs> let me see if any other stories I have. Um, so yes, back in December of 2016, me and my hubby went out and uh, it was for a company dinner and we always go to this, the same restaurant every single year and it's like oh my goodness it's date night because we don't get out much at all I spent a majority of my time home just because I uh, we have a little one here and we, we, we don't have babysitters stuff like that but you know it's usually you know we're always running around with the kids so we um, went to our we went to the dinner and it was like at a restaurant like next town over and small restaurants very cozy and private and stuff like that but um of course everybody at the table decided to go ahead and order seafood now it's in the middle of winter so or winter just begun and I'm okay with seafood like I can tolerate it um but I don't know what it was maybe because we were such in a uh, tight setting that um the seafood really started to uh to bother my stomach <laughs> and I didn't touch it I didn't have anything I didn't touch I didn't taste any of my hubbies nothing it looked great it looked awesome but my my tummy just can't handle it it just can't and I ended up having like uh, I don't even know how you would say it it's like a I think like a chicken Alfredo I think I had and um, I couldn't even eat it all because I was just so my stomach was just so upset and I felt so bad I didn't want to say anything to my husband like He's like, oh, do you want to taste? And I'm like, no, I don't want to taste. I don't want, I'm like, you eat, you know, you eat what you have, you know? And we had dessert. I ended up getting like a uh, really great cup of coffee, which I love. I always love, love ending those dinners with a great cup of coffee. And um, when we finally left, my stomach was just like horrendous. He's like, are you okay? And I'm like, no, I'm not okay. So. Here you see here, I added in two fireplaces and I kind of wanted to make this another private area. Here I go with like the Japanese uh, decorations. Don't ask me why. I don't know why. I, after a while, because I, I realized that I'm like, you know what, this is a seafood place. But like I, like I said, sushi, you know, guys, you're probably just cracking up because, you know, I, I make no sense half the time. So I added in a rug right here and, um... I wanted to go ahead and make this like a buffet area and make sure that we had it open to where like people can grab a servant if they want it and stuff like that. Um, here goes another little table off to the side. Um, you can grab a quick little plate, whatever was on that buffet you can grab. And um, I think eventually I ends up adding in like a little area where, yep, right here, this is the perfect area like uh, we have some drinks we have tea we have a fondue maker we have a coffee pot because what's a restaurant without a coffee pot right you have to have coffee <laughs> yeah so I I'm just truly in love with these uh, these wall dividers all the different kinds of colors so I'm kind of happy that uh, Sim um, Guru came, came up with this challenge it's sad that I didn't realize it was going on until today the day before it ends but um, pretty much we got a lot we got a lot covered uh, like I said it has to be on the 40 by 30 lot four or five wall heights it has to be a fancy seafood bistro which I'm thinking okay it, it can be a bistro uh, a bar which we have we actually have one right here um, this would be the one upstairs um, 
we have that we have bathrooms which are downstairs we have waiter stations we have that private dining area she asked for and we are decorating the interior which I had a ball with and we have aquariums the water motifs which I still cannot figure out what they are and of course we uploaded it up to the gallery so upstairs you see that um, we have that open area from the downstairs and I said you know what this is perfect with this tree being here I really think it's a nice like overlook to like what that centerpiece downstairs looks like if you get what I'm saying and it kind of rem reminds me of when I used to go to the mall when I was younger they had this big huge um, opening on the second floor and you can look down you can wave to people and they have this big huge water fountain and stuff like that so yeah so this is a very cozy area up here this is more of like the uh, a more open area right now you have a DJ booth you have a bar you have the aquariums you have like seating we have like a place to sit down and just chit chat I added in a couple more waiter um, waiter stations and stuff um, of course you had to add those accents into the um, onto the tables like those little candles and here is that little flower thing which I really like I wanted to add these lights in so bad but you know what it just was not it wasn't happening you'll see here that I just Chris could not get it I couldn't get it to work but um so I added in the um, single ones and I said okay they're not bad looking all right I love how the DJ floor looks down to the bottom I would not be able to dance on that floor but um, I thought it was a nice little uh, decoration for the upstairs and I there's so many things that city living brings and I think with city living dine out and spa day and even the latest one uh, glamour the glamour stuff pack that's cool too I added more of those uh, little oh my goodness those little stations I don't know what you call them Chris is just drawing the blank um, out to the back of the patio the front of the patio sorry oh sorry oh really Chris sorry oh you can tell that it's now 17 minutes and I'm choking on my words <laughs> I added these mirrors in to kind of make it feel like it's bigger um, it's always nice to have a dance floor and have a mirror there so you know that you're you know dancing all right or you're not making a fool out of yourself but I feel like it makes the room a lot bigger we added in a couple um, karaoke machines over here you'll see that I added in a piano and I love these um, little curtains but they kind of just, just didn't work out they you'll say it a second they just don't um, but I kept going back to like these certain pieces and I'm like you know there's just so much creativity people can do and I have watched a few people do this after of course I finished this and oh my goodness I uh, <laughs> They're just amazing. Uh, our simming community is just so, so creative and so talented. Oh my goodness. I spent maybe five hours doing this today and I'm like, oh my goodness, my hubby's gonna kill me. He's gonna kill me. And I told him, I said, I just wanna, I just wanna dive in um, and do this build. I really, I love when I feel creative and I just wanna listen to some great music and do this uh, build and you know let the day fly by right so I added those high back like I guess you can call them um, love seats and um, I wanted to make this like a little lounge area so they can um, sit down and relax at this little table that has like a fire pit to it I guess you can say but um yes listen to the piano listen to the singer added in a uh, microphone over there so somebody can tell jokes or whichever they wanted to do and um, I added some art decor and stuff like that. Yeah, so um, more private area upstairs. It's not as, uh, you know, I think it's fancy, but it's more like I think it's really comfy and cozy, which I always aim to do. I want to go ahead and make whatever I build. I want it to be very comforting. So here we go with those bamboo plants again. I am just a nutball with those. They they are really cool. Very good wall dividers. And I added these little um, lights in the back too. So I wanted to make sure that I put something on those walls with the uh, mirrors. And I think actually 
at the end of this, I think they disappeared by accident because I go, I go a little crazy. I think I really truly have OCD. I'm just going to be straight out since we're here talking. <laughs> I probably have OCD. Um, added in that really cool like mosaic rug. I like that. That actually brought out that little area right there and that little end table. I just truly, I wish I would have used more of them. I didn't know. I like this garden um, planner thing too. I added in those lights and with the little candle sticking out. I think that's a cool, also another cool way to divide a room up. Um, to try to add some stuff to the wall. And um, I think I ended up moving it over. Yeah, I, I ended up moving it over and stuff like that. But yeah, this is probably one of my favorite parts if we get to it. Okay, so I was playing around with this for a while. I'm like, I want this to be something. You know what I mean? Like somewhere where you can just grab a drink and sit down, you know? I love being able to sit down by plants and waterfalls and stuff like that. I don't get to do it as much. Um, but what's it called? Uh, very like, very cozy. So I ended up putting in these little like sofas or love seats, I guess you can say, and I'm playing around with it. And I said, this would be another cool private area to go ahead and just, you know, you have a private party, you have coworkers, whatever, you have a family, you have like a little engagement party or anything like that. You could sit right here and chit chat. There's enough seating for probably like 10 or 12. And I added in those little um, waterfall things again. And I didn't put them totally together. I kind of left the space in because I really wanted to put something right in the middle. I don't know if I did or not, did I? But here we go with the wall, flowers. Oh, so proceed, this is where I go nuts. This is where I think I have OCD. I'm like, oh, you can't just put one, you gotta put 20. <laughs> but a lot of pinks and a lot of purples and his little like petals as a rug, kind of make it a little bit more romantic. So, okay, so we're here at the balcony and I kind of wanted to make this another area where you can kind of just sit outside and have some drinks. Uh, I don't even know what that's called. I cannot believe I don't remember. And I can't go into my Sims game because I have it closed down right now. <laughs> the flavor stations, we're going to call them flavor stations. Here we are with the flowers again. Um, really wanted to make it like romantic. So I added so many in, so many in. Um, I, I was getting a little worried. I'm like, oh, you know, I'm really into like this oriental. I have like this oriental feeling for this build. But um, you see that I add in some more pinks and I get some oranges in there and um, eventually this will be another place where you can order food and stuff like that. So I was playing around. It took me a while. I think I was getting tired around now. Um, this is another area where you can just sit and relax, have some drinks. Oh my goodness. Yes. Yes. So you'll see that. And um, I really like those wall decor things with the candles in them. They're really pretty and they come in some very pretty colors. So I ended up changing the chairs around, make them into a black because I like the reds or like the burgundy, I, could, I guess you can say, but I really wanted to add in some more like green and stuff like that. I wanted to add this tree with the lanterns, but of course it didn't work. I had to get rid of it. Yeah. And I tried, I really tried with these lights again and it just did not, it didn't work. Yeah, I was getting really tired, really tired, but I have them there for a while and I added in some more light in it and stuff like that. Um, added in another fireplace. I really wanted to add in like a, another, um, fountain and stuff. I think I kept the fountain, but I got rid of the lights. I'm just going bonkers right here. Just nuts. Yeah. What the heck is going on with you, Chris? But I love, that's like probably one of my favorite fountains. Here goes some more um, petals. I call them rose petals. More rose petals on the ground. Wanted to add in another bar, but here I go. I add in. Sorry, I just burped. Um, the other, <laughs> the other chef station. And oh, you know, I would really love to have that color wheel back because, oh my goodness, I'd love to just have it back. Um, I miss it so much. But I added in the refrigerator and another station. Um, we have a waiter, a host station, and we have the little thing where you have to throw your stuff away, right? Yes. All right. 
Yeah, so, I mean, what's it called? We, I think the last time my hubby made something that was seafood was probably like in the summertime. I always tell him, like, if you're going to make something like fish or whatever, I said, could you cook it on the grill and not bring it inside? There's something about it. Like, I just can't. I can't do it. I can't do fish. I just can't. Um, back when I was working, I worked in an office, and I really think I'm like claustrophobic. I probably am claustrophobic. But there was uh, a friend of mine, a coworker. I loved her half. That's so funny. We used to have so much fun together. But she'd always go and get the fish and chips. <laughs> I remember one day. I looked at my boss and I'm like, I can't do it. I said, I have to go outside for fresh air. And he's like, why? And I'm like, I, I literally, by then I knew I was allergic to uh, fish. I said, I just can't do it. I can't, I can't take the smell. So he actually told her, I felt really bad, but he actually asked if she could just eat it. Cause you really weren't supposed to eat at your desk anyway. So he asked if she could just go and eat her food, um, you know, in the lunchroom, the cafeteria or whatever. But it's just the smell and like hold my nose that's how bad I am but um, it looks good it looks good and I had like I said I had a ball doing this uh, build I was really trying to become the like, creative because I sometimes stick to like a certain type of build and I wanted to use these windows and the doors and these dividers I kind of wanted like an open concept but make it very personable too um, or private I guess you can say so here I was messing around with the roof and I'm, I don't know, Kimmy asked to fix her roof and I don't know if I did it. I was playing around with it, um, for a while, but, um, here we are, we're working on the outside. I definitely changed up the, um, the outside, uh, side in. Here I knew, I knew, and it took me a while, but, um, I knew what I kind of wanted to do outside. So I got rid of the, uh, pavement. As you can see here and then um, once I get rid of it you'll see what I what I do um, I definitely wanted to make this like the um, what did she say it was gonna be that she wanted she wanted a water garden so I knew I knew I was like you know what I got the perfect idea because um, where was it I think when I was living I think it was maybe senior year but we lived across the street from a um, shopping center and they had this uh, one uh, Chinese place or ch like a buffet I guess you can say and they had this beautiful beautiful garden water garden like inside the restaurant so um, I kind of got my idea from there. I'm like, you know what? I really want to do it on the outside. Here you'll see that I have a couple Sims in here. I was kind of testing it out to make sure that things worked because I, I did use um, move objects on. I did a lot and I sized things up a lot too, which I hope is not going to be a problem because I sized a lot of stuff up. Um, so here in the um, on the balcony, I'm going to go on. Oh my goodness. Um, I used that chef station, but I, I put it to where it was inside so you didn't have to see like the refrigerator and stuff like that. And then I ended up using another wall divider to kind of hide that because I didn't want everybody to see that. So we added some more um, tables and stuff like that. And um, yes, it was really, it was really like uh, having to use a lot of your brain cells to get this uh, build going and to not lose um, not lose train of thought because I had it in my head I'm like I know what I want to do it's just that I can't I can't stop doing it these little fish decor wall decor things I used I think throughout the whole entire build um, kind of used it like as our um, like our sign I guess you can say because I kept wanting to go for like the Japanese you know like I'm saying before I was saying before but I'm like no you gotta it's an out it's like seafood I think of outside by the ocean you know stuff like that so and I'm surprised because I used to love going to the beach and you know 
hanging out with my family. I think that was probably like one of the best memories I had as a child was going to um, the beach. We actually, we're, we're here on the East Coast, we're in Jersey, so we live about 45 minutes away from Seaside, which um, if you guys are not familiar with, had gotten really hit hard by Hurricane Sandy a few years back. And the roller coaster was like in the ocean, stuff like that. But I remember as a young child, my mom used to get a, um, like a hotel. It wasn't a hotel, it was like a, like a house, but there was units in it. And uh, me and my sister, my mom and her friends would go. And it was really funny because uh, they went because they wanted to, you know, they were, it was like their vacation, but my mom brought us because we liked the beach. So we'd go to the beach, you know, they would sleep in and me and my sister would put on our roller skates and head on down to the boardwalk. And that's what it was kind of like, you know, I guess you can say safer back then. You kind of weren't worried so much about the drugs and stuff <laughs> as you are now. Um, but yes, I remember just go in and we would not go in the ocean. That's how well behaved we were as kids. We wouldn't go near that ocean. And another reason why I wouldn't go near that ocean was because of the crabs. I was petrified of crabs. One bit me, or not bit me, like snapped at me, whatever you would call it. And I remember getting so upset I ran off the beach and then I ended up getting lost for like two hours. I couldn't find my mom because the beach used to be packed, packed, like jam packed. So here you see, I'm adding in the water garden and I went bonkers with this. I said, you know what, this is gonna be filled with fountains and um, water jets and everything you could think of. I really wanted to center it up, add in all these little uh, flat, like these little, what do you call them? Petals, wooden, I keep saying wooden. What's wrong with me, I'm nuts. Okay guys, you know me. I only have a few more minutes, but so here we are and I was like, so excited. I'm like, I cannot wait to press um, play and see what's going to happen like how awesome is this gonna look I add in, in a lot of green plants and stuff like that and then um, I wanted like that bonsai tree there I kind of wanted to have it like right at the end of the fountain because like I, I think it looked really good here and I was trying to do stuff with these rocks and I'm like what can I do and I kind of just kept going with it and I'm like okay I think I know what I'm gonna do I think I know what I'm gonna do but I really wanted to bring that out just a tiny bit so I ended up making some of the rocks bigger and then um, I started adding in and I kind of kept to like these two plants like the orange they have like orange in them that's way too big yeah okay and I made the fountain color red um, I could have made it just blue, but I liked the red. Um, I don't know why, to tell you the truth. <laughs> it's not like it's lava. I wanted to add that boot in so bad, but it just would not, it wouldn't go. Um, it just, it would not fit at all. So I end up trying to put those lights back up, and for a while it looked good. I'm like, okay, got it. And it kind of just took away. It took away from the restaurant. So you'll see later on how I just, I let them, I let them go. Um, you kind of couldn't get them centered completely. So here we are with the little fishy fountain. And uh, they're another one of my favorite trees too. So here we are at the back, actually no, adding in some more of the plants to the fountain, the front water garden. And it just, I had such a ball. I'm like, you know what? My imagination just like was put to work. Oh, this is great. I love it. I love it. Like, just imagine walking by it and hearing, like, all the water sounds. It's very relaxing, you know? It's like a water fountain. Yes, yes, yes. So I can't wait to see. Um, I went onto the gallery, and I literally downloaded and favored everybody's build already. And I don't know much about um, Sim uh, Guru Kimmy, but um, I'm very excited that I was able to um, do this and see our Simmon community come together once again. Like I heard a couple people doing it, and I'm like, um, I have, I have, a, like, I'm at a point right now where I have to record a lot of my videos on the weekends because 
it's just so it's so hard during the week and I've been trying my hardest to keep to a schedule because I don't want to give up I don't want to give up YouTube I don't want to give up twitch so um, I have a couple other things that I'm going to be doing um, in the spring bringing back another a couple other let's plays and stuff but lately I've been so into these builds and I've been using them like for as story time um, I think it's really cool to have a story time because I you know um, I like to go ahead and I uh, just talk about you know things that mean stuff to me and you know let you guys get to know a little bit about you know Big G here you know and um, plus it's a social hour for me I love I just love talking and chatting with everybody I really had a ball with those little planners they are they're just beautiful I I literally I want one in real life but all the flowers just so very pretty I, if I could have decorated this whole entire restaurant with flowers, I would have. Um, I don't even know if, like, if it looks too cluttery or what, but I just, I was just having so much fun. I really was. I was having a lot of fun. And, um, I think there's all different kinds of colors, which is really cool. I added in the little rock benches and I ended up testing them out. So a couple of, of them do work but some of them uh, I just use like literally just as decoration added in some lights I love how the lots look at night with the lights on looks very cool yep so um, yeah it's it's been uh, <laughs> I think in a couple minutes we're actually going through the walkthrough but I end up getting rid of these lights I know I do but uh, so I think we do have everything. You can find us under um, Seafood Kimmy on the gallery. Um, my origin ID is called the MCG family. I will leave that information in the description down below. So yes, yeah, so this ends uh, tomorrow, February 27th. Oh my goodness, guys, we have what two more days until we're into March. Oh my gosh, yes. But it was a ball. I had such a ball doing this. Um, in a couple minutes I will be doing like a little tour you'll see some pictures um, kept the aquariums outside um, the way I where I had them placed before you couldn't view the fish so and I ended up having the size and back down so you can actually add the fish <laughs> so you do see that I do use a lot of the move objects on and I enlarge a lot of the items but I think I think we're gonna be okay and those windows are really cool something about those windows so you're gonna see now is where Chris just goes absolutely insane she's gonna go ahead and say all right let's add all these bushes to the top of this terrace terrace whatever you call it and um, we're gonna add them to the walls so um, the exterior of the restaurant yes I'm so tired I cannot believe I've been talking for 38 minutes oh my goodness yes so I add them in and um, I originally had like a sign there, but I figured these little wall decor things reminds me of an ocean. Even though they're white, I could have just changed them to blue. But I said, you know what? That's perfect. No big deal. And we're back with those bamboo um, plants, which I love. I definitely love. I added in some more benches. All right, yes, I'm gonna take a sip of my coffee real quick because my throat is so dry. <laughs> yes, but I had a ball. And I can't wait to see everybody else. I was trying not to watch a whole lot because I didn't want it to kind of interfere with what I had in mind. I love watching other people's builds and we have such a loving and creative community that I'm always blown away. Always blown away. <laughs> So here you'll see that I actually, um, I don't know if I do it or not. Do I do it? I probably do do it. Yep, here I go. I just go nuts. Now, it looked good, but because of the lot, the way it was placed, the house was placed down, um, this would be, this was supposed to be the back of the restaurant, but um, it looks like when you look at the uh, screenshots it looks like it's the side so yes um, I hope Sim Guru Kimmy recognizes that it's her lot 
because it's a 40 by 30 lot and I could have just put it in um, San my Shuno but I think we're over in Willow Creek which I think is beautiful it really is and um, I think it's really cool but here we are with the fish to kind of make it like look like it's a seafood restaurant and um, I was playing back this is another little area where you can have like a little private you know place to sit and stuff and I brought back another uh, fountain and I wanted to add so many plants back here but I just kept with the orange and I do eventually put in those uh, bamboo plants I think I do to kind of give it a little bit more of a personable feel so yeah I hope you guys are enjoying this and you haven't left me yet yes so uh, I'm trying to think of what else yes I this is a nice restaurant I think I would want to come here I mean they have a karaoke they have bars they have plenty of uh, room to sit and chit chat they got music they got a lot of water fountains, which is just very, I think, romantic. I, I like it. I like it. You cannot go ahead and uh, you can't, like, play in this fountain because, I, of course, Chris went nuts with the flowers. But um, I do add the bamboo plants. And I wanted to kind of put it, like, in the middle here. And I'm like, no, just stop, Chris. Just stop. But I ended up putting in a really nice chandelier, which took me a while. Um because you had to use the um, control shift 9 to kind of place it up if you get what I'm saying you guys know what I'm saying I learned so many tricks while um, watching other people's builds I just recently learned how to use the tab key and I'm still getting used to it <laughs> all right so um yep I added in of course those orange flowers again I'm telling you the oranges, the blues, and the whites just really, even with that touch of pink, just looks really good. It really does. It looks really good. I cannot believe I'm going to pass out. I go to sleep. Oh my goodness. What a day. What a day. My little one's sound asleep behind me. So here we go. I uh, made it like a wall of bamboo. Woo woo. Looks really cute very hard to get rid of these in real life like so if you planted them be careful because they multiply like really fast so I originally had the table here but then I ended up moving it because it wasn't big it wasn't gonna fit here in that little smaller area as you can see so I ended up moving the fountain over a little bit added in some more of those jets because Chris likes those jets and uh, added in a couple other flowers I, I love the greens I think the greens really make it like very earthy right earthy I guess you can say I even added in frogs because why not frogs they're like from the ocean right so I added in that little tiny little like love seat a rock little um, end table and of course there's really pretty flowers so you see you see a lot of flowers and a lot of candles and stuff like that here in this build so I had I keep saying it guys but I mean it I had a ball to this I really did okay so I wanted to add in just a couple more of these um, half walls just to make sure I had enough um, so I ended up using some reds on these half walls and then I added in these little fountain decor things added some more of these little uh, bushes in and then I ended up moving it over a little bit the um, one other plant making it black the little rock uh, tables and then I added these really cute little um, candles in which I ended up changing these and I ended up putting in the really nice candles yes there you go very nice yes and I ended up putting them on the table as well so yeah guys I'm all excited so excited to see um, tonight I get to watch so many of um, our fellow simmers do this build I mean just absolutely amazing yeah so I just added in some little little pieces um, I probably could have added some more like light in but I wanted to I didn't want it so bright because it's, I wanted it to be like comfy and cozy 
All right. Oh, I thought I was near my what's it called, but I guess I'm not. All right. So, of course, we had to add, add in the business cards and the menu and some more candles. And what else do I do over here? I totally forget what I did. But, um, like a side, a sideboard table, I guess you call them. But yeah, I added in some more of those uh, mirrors. Those mirrors are really nice. They really do make the room. Like, ex they expand the room, I think. I wanted to add in curtains there, and it just was not happening. So I forget what I did. Oh, did I add those in? Really? I don't think I added them in. I think I took them out. I really think I took them out. But here goes another wall. Yeah, I took them out. The wall dividers. Oh, I added in the two aquariums. What? So that, like, that's like the sit-in area, and you can just, you know, look at the fishies. Yes. I don't know. We've never, we've never done. I think what back in like 2003, we had fish. My hubby actually built a, an aquarium for us, uh, an aquarium stand. And uh, we had all kinds of fish. It was very hard to clean, but um, that was it. We ha we don't have any pets. <laughs> uh, we can't have any pets right now because Ev. Yeah, I blame it all on Ev. She um she's always touching stuff. I think in a couple years we'll maybe. I keep asking my hubby if we can get a dog, but um, our neighbor now has. Uh, I don't know. She just had puppies, and I, I gave him the puppy face. And I'm like, can we get the puppy? And he's like, no. We cannot have a puppy. We cannot feed another mouth. <laughs> he's so funny. I love him. It's the truth, though. That's how Rob is. He tells the truth. Uh, yeah, so I'm like, I'm waiting for this uh, build to be done with because uh, I know it's been a long time, but... I just wanted to sit and chat with everybody and make sure everybody was having a great day. And I thank you guys all for um, stopping by. And if you haven't subscribed yet, that would be awesome. Um, we are just expanding. Like, every time I look and I'm like, oh my goodness. Like, And I love every single one of you guys that have been here with me on this journey on YouTube. It's just something that I truly, truly, truly look forward to every day um oh this is a cool part so i ended up getting rid of all this greenery stuff and you'll see what i did i was like i i think it's too green it just was not coming up great in the screenshot so i got rid of them all and i think that's when i got rid of the mirrors on the second floor by accident but um i ended up putting those little fish wall decors in and i said there has to be something i can do to kind of make it more of an like a, an ocean feeling, like a seafood. I really should have made them blue, these little light up wall things, but I added in a boot and then I added in two more of those little fishy things. Yeah, so I think it looks good. It's very green. So here goes like a little tour. I tried with that tab cake. Chris is getting there. I'm telling you what. So here goes like a little, a little, um, can hear the fountains and stuff like that there you go ah the fishies you see the fishies all right guys i'm gonna leave you here and uh i thank you all for being here um i hope you guys enjoyed this build as much as i did and i will see you all in the next video i wish everybody good luck with this awesome uh challenge i can't wait to see everybody else's and I will see you all very soon. All right. Have a great day. Love you all. Bye.